The great Puritan Richard Baxter said this. He said, it will be an unspeakable comfort if we can look back on a life well spent and to be able to say in humble sincerity, my time was not cast away. It was spent in sincere labors for my God, in making my calling and election sure, in doing good to men's souls and bodies. My life was entirely devoted to God. Richard Baxter hit something on the head that I think about almost every day anymore. How do I spend the one minute that I have? See, we have a tendency when we're young, we plan for way off out there what I'm gonna do in five years, and what I'm gonna do in 10 years, and that's good, that's normal. But as we get older, we begin to realize that the one minute that I'm living in right now might be the most important minute. And if you live your life like that, and they add up one minute and one minute and one minute, you look back over your entire life, and you've lived a life completely devoted to God. And it, every minute counts in how we act and behave. Jesus said in Matthew 25, 23, he said, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a few things. This is called the parable of the talents. And Jesus stresses the importance of us being faithful to the work that he's assigned us. We want to hear him say at the end, well done, good and faithful servant. It's not the amount of our work that's important. It's not the status or the notoriety of our work that's important. It's the faithfulness with which we do exactly as God has asked us to do and done exactly what he's assigned to us. Sometimes we get activity crazy, especially in churches and in ministry, and we're doing all kinds of stuff, but how much of it is really having the impact that God desires for it to have? Well, that which God assigned us will have the impact that he wants it to have. And so our lives and our labors call for perseverance, we have to hang in there, even when we get knocked down, even when we get disappointed, even when things don't work out the way we hope, we persevere. Also, we are involved with persistence. We keep going. We're persistent in our desire to let Christ's life live through us. Because when we got born again, He gave us His Holy Spirit. And on the inside of us, we have the very life of God. It's called eternal life. You don't wait to, to start eternal life when you die. You start it when you get saved. So it's perseverance and it's persistence. It's patience. Sometimes people uh, test our patience. Sometimes circumstances will test our patience. But God gives us the ability to endure, which is another translation of the word patience. Patient endurance is one and the same thing. And that's part of this being faithful over our lives. So we have pers perseverance, persistence, patience, and finally prayer. We need to live lives of prayer because it's in those moments that God can speak to us. Prayer is not only us speaking to God, although that's a big part of it. Prayer is us learning to hear Him when He speaks to us as well. So if God has assigned us our daily tasks, He'll produce an eternal harvest. How many knows that we're if where God sends you, He pays the bills. He takes care of the situation. So if He's assigned us our daily task, He'll produce an eternal harvest. Don't give up and don't worry if the work seems small, if the costs are large, and the results seem to be meager. Just be faithful to the will of God for your life. Nothing more, nothing less. Jean Nicholas Grau said this, seeking to please God in little, matters it matters some of you are looking for that big thing of life and that's okay but don't neglect the seemingly little things in your every moment of everyday living because faithfulness in those will get you to that big God is a God of promotion and promotion has to come God's way seeking to please God in the little matters it's a test of real love and real devotion. Let your aim be to please our dear Lord perfectly in little things. So from Traverse City, Michigan today, this is Brother Paxton again with another devotion. And I'm just encouraging you to let Jesus live big in you today. Reach out and touch someone and love someone in Jesus' name. Go with God.
and he will go with you.